28. 25. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Cyrus Rex. Everyone is go. Standing by for launch. After liftoff, you'll hear the voice of United Launch Alliance's Marty Malinowski providing launch vehicle ascent data. 10 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And liftoff of Osiris Rex, its seven year mission to boldly go to the asteroid Bennu and back. from the equator. SRB chamber pressure is almost plateaued at this point. Party 180, projector pressure's good. 45 seconds into flight. Control program is complete. Boosters throttle down. And Lock the one. Atlas rocket carrying Osiris Rex has gone supersonic. Standing by to pack, pass through Max Q, maximum aerodynamic pressure. Max Q, vehicle moderates continue to look good. This is the point when the mechanical stress on the rocket reaches its peak and because of the rocket's velocity and resistance created by the Earth's atmosphere. Signatures look good. Current altitude is 14 miles. Downrange distance is 9 miles. Current velocity 2,488 miles per hour. Range track shows vehicle progressing down the middle of the range. In about 30 seconds, the good. single speed. solid rocket booster will be jettisoned at 2 minutes 19 seconds. Booster has throttled back down. It's now 50% of its liftoff weight. Next major event will be SRB jettison. Coming up momentarily. And, and you see the solid rocket booster jettison. Solid. Separation looks good. Vehicle has enabled closed loop Q alpha steering. RD-180 engine continues powering the Atlas, Centaur, and OSIRIS-REx into space. Next major milestone will be booster engine cutoff. Four minutes and two seconds into flight. ...has been fired. That system is now pressurizing the flight level. Signatures look good. Current altitude, 40 miles. Downrange distance, 75 miles. Current velocity, 5,988 miles per hour. Range track looks good. About uh, one minute away from Ast Atlas booster engine cutoff. Already went to burn well. Pump speeds and checker pressures within band. Vehicle body rates look good. Vehicle is now one quarter of its liftoff weight. Coming up on our 5G throttle segment momentarily. And we have begun throttling to maintain 5Gs. Signatures look good. Blue space cooldown is underway. And begun to throttle to 4.6 Gs in preparation for Pico. Blue space cooldown is complete. And we have Pico. Engine shutdown looks good. Booster engine cutoff confirmed. Standing by. After and spacecraft separation, separation for the Centaur single RL-10C engine to ignite. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. Coming up on payload for engine jettison. 
Everything uh, continuing normally. The Centaur engine producing 22,900 pounds of thrust, and it will burn for just over eight minutes. Centaur body rates look very good. The steering has been enabled. And the payload fairing, which was covering OSIRIS-REx, was jettisoned. Everything continuing on the timeline. Current altitude for Centaur is 101 miles. Range, downrange distance is 471 miles. Current velocity, 12,589 miles per hour. We do have a report from the booster performance, and it is basically nominal. Our PU is currently on the box bridge stop. Chamber pressures look good. Box pump discharge, fuel venturi, and pump speeds all are good. Six minutes into the flight of Osiris Rex. RL 10 continues to perform well. Chamber pressures, box pump discharge, and fuel venturi all within expected range. Centaur PU has come off the locks rich stop. Body rates controlling down the middle. About six minutes left in the Ready. burn of the Centaur engine. Battery voltages, all are stable at this point. Tank pressures look good. And we have had the format change. Very minor loss of data during that. We're seeing our normal thermal conditioning firings on the RCS. Line temperatures have nearly warmed to bottle temperatures at this point. Once again, you're hearing the voice of United range. Launch Alliance, Marty Malinowski, range track. calling the ascent of the vehicle. We're still making good progress down the middle of the range. And Centaur has begun ran steering at this point. Current altitude, 139 miles. Downrange distance, 1,008 miles. Current velocity, 13,783 miles per hour. And the RL-10 continues to perform well. Chamber pressures, box pump discharge, and venturi all where we would expect for the set MR. Centaur body rate still controlling down the middle. About four minutes remaining in the burn of the Centaur engine. See the uh, Centaur spacecraft traversing out, out over the Atlantic Ocean. Downrange distance 1,275 miles. Current On velocity 28.5 degree inclination from the equator. Range track again continues to show good progress downrange. Centaur PU has worked off most of the oxidizer air at this point, controlling near nominal. Chamber pressures, box pump discharge, and fuel venturi again, all as expected for the set MR. Body rates are good.
Centaur continues to perform well. Current altitude 145 miles, downrange distance 1,597 miles. Current velocity 15,333 miles per hour. Just a little over 10 minutes since launch and everything continues to go well. Approximately two minutes remain in this first burn. All Centaur systems look good. Centaur PU again controlling near nominal. Our all 10 performance continues to look excellent. Body rates controlling down the middle. Approximately one minute remains in this first burn. Standing by for the second stage Centaur, Centaur engine cutoff. 138 miles, downrange distance 2,143 miles, current velocity 16,942 miles per hour. Miko 1 coming up in about 10 seconds. And we have IAP Vanish, Centaur is now orbital. And we have Miko. Engine shutdown looks good. Miko is we confirmed. Have safety point termination system. Centaur has gone to 4S settling. Another Centaur burn will follow after about a 22 and a half minute coast period. That burn is scheduled for 33 minutes, 48 seconds mission elapsed time, or about 7.38 p.m. Eastern time. As the journey continues to this coast phase is scheduled put OSIRIS-REx into its planned location in space. Followed by a second burn of 407 seconds, and a final coast to spacecraft separation of 15 minutes. Our tank pressures, storage bottles, batteries are all stable. The Centaur engine will burn once again before uh, finally releasing the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft into space about 55 minutes and 38 seconds after launch.
And if you guys are just joining us, NASA launched on a seven year round trip journey to an asteroid. And their mission is to scoop up pieces of this space rock and bring it back to Earth. And they say these asteroid pieces could tell us a great deal about how the solar system came to be and possibly how life got started here on our planet. And looking at the Miko 1 plus 3 second open, shows Centaurs right where we expected and comparing the pre-flight to the actual position of the vehicle.